Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and I'm going to be teaching you Intermediate Ministral Internship. How to be a Christian. It's not about how much text you know, theology. It's not even what you do. To be a true follower of Christ, it's who you are when no one is watching. This is true. If I knew all the knowledge in the world, if I had all wisdom, if I gave everything away, if I served everyone, but I did not love you, it would be a waste of time. How do we evangelize a world that has no love? How do we evangelize when we don't have love? Love is a term that gets thrown around all the time. It has many meanings. But what did Jesus do? Who was he when no one was watching him? Who are you when no one is watching you? You can be in public, but no one knows what you're thinking. No one knows how you feel inside at that moment. Does what inside line up with the outside of how you present yourself to others? How you present yourself in public? Is that the same person with your spouse? Or when you're alone? This must be one. If this is not one, how could we expect the world to want to follow us? The world needs people who are not only in tune in the scriptures, but are walking in the word, who are a breathing, living testament of God, of his son. Wow, this person is faithful when no one is watching or when everyone is watching. This person is the same person when everyone is watching and when no one cares. This is what it means to be aligned in the word. This person cares and loves me and I can resonate and feel that. And that's what we need. We need to line up the word with all aspects of our lives. Because if we can't do that, why are we even following Christ? God cares about the heart. He doesn't care about how much we know. He doesn't care about how much we do for him, because many will say on that day, Lord, Lord, haven't I? But the truth is, we need to love each other from here. And I mean, not just I'm trying to love, I'm doing my best. No, I mean, we need to really love each other. Not just put each other first, but I mean, really love each other. Not just all the things that I could say, but really love each other. Because deep down, you and I know whether we do really love each other or not. And he knows. And you and I know that he knows that we know. We all know if we really love each other. And that is where evangelism starts. Because if it can't start here, it will never start out there. So I need to know who God is to know myself. In order to know myself, I know God. And if I know God, I know myself. And I know if I know myself, I know you. And if I know you, you will know God. And I and you and you and I, let us live as one. Let us worship as one, as equally, as balanced. As your heavenly father is perfect, you be perfect. 
Let us be perfect, perfectly loved in his grace, in his blood. Let us walk according to his word and his teachings, not because we can bash each other on the head with how much we know as if any of us could be righteous, but let us help each other not stumble. You be blessed as I will be blessed. When no one is watching, he knows. As it is in heaven, let it so be on earth so the world can see his love and our love for one another. Amen.